Hi right, guys, before we do a Q&A today, let's give Eugene from the Photoshop in Mackenzie Street, St. Lucia, next to the Baraka, a shout out. He did a solid for me in the beginning of the month, actually for all of us. I had some equipment failure on a SD card and lost two months, almost three months worth of footage. Eugene recovered it for me. Eugene, great service there. Guys can visit his Photoshop, great service, great prices and great knowledge. Thank you guys. In interest of keeping the channel going, I decided to do a Q&A video. Um, unfortunately, I'm a little bit bedridden at the moment and the weather outside is terrible. So through the years, I see the media created a lot of confusion about the estuary and the estuary mouth being opened on the 4th of January 2021. Guys, St. Lucia estuary is one of the biggest estuaries in South Africa. It needs to breathe. We can't keep it closed. Even if we have to get dredges in there and gut the hell out of the sediment built up that comes down with the Mfalosi River. This, we can't just let it suffocate and hope that nature will take its course. There's not going to be another Des Moines. Let's, let's be real. So the first question we got is from Andrew Fletcher. Fletcher. The question is in Afrikaans. What would the consequences be if the estuary mouth would have been breached further north? This wouldn't have been any consequences. Except that now the estuary mouth is going to migrate north and it's going to do a lot of scouring on the sediment built up that is between the Mfalosi River and the estuary itself. With this migration pattern, it's like a dredger moving his hose. I didn't like the place where they opened it. It proved that the people that sitting on the task team knew better and there's a lot more sediment being moved out. But we still need dredges. So yes, this was in line with the 1999 and 2007 management plan. Zander said, maybe things will get better. Yes, it's a World Heritage Site. The eyes of the world is on the site. It cannot be suffocated. It cannot be closed with a man-made wall. It has to breathe. So things will get better, definitely. We are waiting for a decision from the minister. Then Anton Prichesay talks about the Mfalosi River Dam that people want it to be built. Sorry, Andre. The contours in the Infolosi River catchment area all the way down to St. Lucia Estuary doesn't allow for a dam to be built. So we can put that, uh, write that on the mix and rub it off. It won't work. But thanks anyway. Um, Lulu Lobsher said, hope things improve for the mouth soon. Things are excellent at the moment at St. Lucia Estuary Mouth. The system is functioning great. The talks team is doing a great job. They did a great job so far. And this is the result of a multidisciplinary task team that acts according to the law and not according to a script. The scouring is working. The estuary function is returning. The juvenile recruitment of the fish is returning. Everything is Perfect, on track. All we need is a little bit help from a dredger to get rid of the excess sediment that is carried down with the rivers to just blow it out into the ocean. I'm confident that that decision will be made because uh, to the layman's eye like myself, it is the right thing to do. It's the, 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 the obvious thing to do. So let's uh, just keep a little bit patient. I'm pretty confident that we're going to have some positive feedback from the task team and the management team in the weeks to come in clearing out the excess sediment built up. Remember, we humans, we've got an impact on Earth. And I'm not promoting taking control over nature. I'm promoting nudging nature. And my personal feeling is we have to neutralize our footprint on earth that's how i feel about it guys if you've got any new videos of the mouth please send them to me on telegram whatsapp doesn't work for that send them on telegram i'll give you full credit and let's keep the channel alive while me and pardet is a little bit stuck in sick bed thank you very much for watching